Hey guys, I'm here with the uh, Coon mower. I'm having a few very minor issues with it. I just replaced the blade on it. <clears throat> Show you. Uh, right there. I replaced that one. And I was kind of wondering as I was doing it if uh, you're supposed to replace the bolt and nut too. Or if you can reuse them or what I don't know let me know what you guys do I just reuse that one for now so but we're back here I have a bit of a hydraulic leak on it um, just this fitting is loose here hopefully you can see I can't really make it out very well on the screen here but uh, this fitting is loose where it goes into the cylinder and it's a bit of a pain in the ass because I can't just tighten it up I gotta like you only got so much room to turn this so what I'm gonna have to do is pull all this off take this elbow off put some Teflon tape on it put it back on and put the rest of the stuff back on but it's kind of in an awful spot so I'm just gonna buzz off well take these bolts out on either side so I can remove this piece just to get a little bit better access so we're not digging way down in there so that's no good so got the air gun here and uh, I'll zip those off right quick All right, so I got it off. Here it is in my hand, uh, or my hand, there it is. So this is pipe thread by the looks of it. So I just gotta get some Teflon, I guess. If I turn it in further, it would seal too, but I don't know if I got enough room to get another full turn on it. Teflon won't hurt it anyway. I gotta take the handle off that little gizmo too. Let me zoom out, I'm zoomed in. Not too bad. I take the handle off that little lockout thing because it wouldn't get enough uh, enough room to turn and hit the cylinder body. So anyway, I'll get some Teflon and put that back on. All right, I got it back on. It's actually able to get another turn on it too. So now it's just a matter of putting their little valve thing uh, back on it and everything else. So I'll button this back up and it should be good to go. Ozzy playing crazy train and some guy drove by on a bicycle so I don't know another guy going on a bicycle
loaded up. I don't know if the airplane's playing Ozzy driving down the, <laughs> the highway or what. Uh, I gotta shake these around to fix that. Ow. There we go. Oh yeah. Pretty epic bike ride, I guess. All right, all back together, and hopefully not leaking anymore. I'll just clean that off so that we'll be able to see if it is leaking. Put the rest of the shit away here, the tools. The other problem we're having too is this tire is hitting the frame. You can see, I don't know why. It doesn't seem like the bearing is bad, does it? It doesn't really seem like the frame is bent on it or anything like that. It's just wearing the paint off, you can see it around there, so I'm not sure. I guess we could put a little spacer plate or something on the other side of that hub and push it out. Or maybe there's an adjustment in it, I can see that it's all threaded there. Not sure exactly on that one. But, uh, it hasn't rubbed the hole through it yet. There's lots of room with this way. Push it off the frame. So it's right against it there. Pretty much. There's this brace plate there that hits it. I thought that maybe the tire was low, but I don't think it's low. It seems to have lots of air in it. I don't even know if they take air. Maybe they're solid. I assume they take air. Well, I don't see a thing on it. Maybe they don't take air. solid true track multi-rib front tractor well nobody's gonna buy a front tractor tire but no put no air in it oh there's a valve thing there yeah so they do take air not sure yeah i'll clean that up and that'll be it anyway guys thanks for watching don't forget to comment read and subscribe i gotta go mowing now but not with this that the Kubota such as it is she's had a hard life anyways thanks for watching guys catch us in the next video